Europe came to Africa and started to take over parts of Africa and control parts of Africa, the slaves were already enslaving people, the Europeans saw that, and then they took the Europeans and they justified it with, you know, they're different from us, so that racism came after slavery. Other countries had already started this practice, the Muslims had done it before them, and now it was, you know, just a trend that was going to keep going with racism as a justification that came afterwards. So it still was racism, just not a general one, like directed on. Well, that's one just specific. one example. See, the Africans enslaved their own people, which I told you. So that's uh, so either yes. tribe or racism. Yes, but, but they sent their own people uh, to the Mediterranean to be domesticated servants. Their level of advancements in technology. And that's why Europeans couldn't enslave other Europeans because they, the European nations all had, all had their own technologies, so they were, they're all on the same level. Mm -hmm. Alright, so when you're saying Africans gave up people, that's like a completely different view from Ifiano's own experiences when he said Europeans technically took him from his home. So why do you say that Africans would give up their people? Because Africans of other tribes did not want to be enslaved, so they would take people from other tribes and give them to the Europeans. It's not necessarily always the case that the Europeans would go and take them. Um, so I think that an SAC is a lot better than a debate because an SAC, in the SAC we all have the same amount of preparation, we all have the same amount of time to talk and present our case, so it's a lot more stable than a debate is. Because in a debate, like I can, you know, some people interrupt in a debate, it's not as fair, you know, sometimes one side is stacked against the other side, but in the, FA, in the SAC we were all equally as prepared and we were all able to fairly demonstrate our side.